Hey, welcome to the VHF UHF channel, and this is tip number eight, nine, nine, I believe. I didn't check the numbers before. Uh, for February 14th, 2019, um, you know what? One of the things that you can do to enhance anything, any reception that you have on the VHF UHF range has to do with the antenna. Antennas are very important for reception of radio signals. So you can have different types of antennas. I'm trying to see if I can have another uh, scanner here. So, of course, the basic antenna that comes with most scanner radios are little rubber ducky antennas like these. They're okay, but they're not that great. Honestly, I haven't seen many scanner radios that have a little rubber ducky antenna like this that really performs well. So that's where you might want to invest in another type of antenna. Your antenna on pretty much every scanner radio actually is you can remove it. Now what you need to know first is what is the type of connector you've got here. This is a BNC connector. So I know that my radios all use BNC connectors. That's what I'll need to have at the basics for the antenna. Once you know the connector, well, head on to the internet um, and, and check out for antennas. There are a lot of antennas out there. They're not all super good. Different prices, anywhere from the cheap five ten dollar antenna to hundreds of dollars, literally. Uh, the idea is to check out what could enhance your reception. Uh, one that I use here is a telescopic wide band. Knowing the frequency range of the antenna is a good idea. If you want to DX most of the bands, look for a wide band antenna, something that goes from 25 or 30 megahertz all the way up to the gigahertz range. Maybe you want to pinpoint a specific band. For example, the one I got here is specific for the 2 meter and 70 centimeter amateur radio band. That's where it performs the best. And you know what? Just to give you an idea, even though it performs better there, it's still better in pretty much every range than the rubber ducky antenna on this one. So, you know, this could be this could be a metal telescopic. What's nice with telescopics is as you move up in frequency, you can shorten the telescopic antenna to match the, the uh, wavelength. Because the higher you go in frequency, the shorter the wavelength. Technically, the shorter the antenna needs to be. So you can try to match the wavelength. And uh, that's what I have with my ICOM, my CR20. There's all sorts of antennas out there. One of the things about antennas, don't rush it. Do your homework. Look at antennas and go to forums that deal with with um, you know scanner radios or or that have knowledgeable or you know even here ask questions to people that are knowledgeable when we do the the live shows or even uh, in you know just asking a question below a video somebody can answer. Um, antennas are not all equal, so some are better than others. That's where you need to know which one is perfect for you, and you can also look at outdoor antennas if you wish but remember that these little portables don't deal really well with very strong signals most of the time so you're better off with just some telescopic or some specific antenna for the portable itself and to keep it portable at the same time so that's today's topic why not invest a little bit of money in a better antenna than just the little thing that comes with the radio if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching